Hey guys, I am super mega excited today because yesterday I just got the IWC Pilot Watch Chronograph Top Gun. So let's do a quick unboxing and uh, give you guys some uh, thoughts about it. Okay, so let's start with the uh, outer brown box. Can open that up and uh, there's a inside a uh, black inner box. Open that up and uh, here is the watch itself. The IWC Pilot's Watch Chronograph Top Gun. Then underneath, you got the uh, warranty. Warranty card. The uh, instruction manual. And a cleaning cloth. Which is pretty cool. And then let's take a closer look at the watch itself. Alright, so let's take a closer look at um, this watch here, uh, the Chrono Top Gun. Um, the first thing you guys will notice um, is uh, obviously the black ceramic case. Um, it is a bigger watch. Um, it's a 44.5 millimeters uh, by a height of 15.5 uh, millimeters. Uh, and in my uh, collection currently, it is one of the larger watches, um, second largest only. Um, to the uh, big pilot, uh, which is um, at 46 millimeters. So as you guys can see, the entire case is ceramic. Um, there are some titanium bits all around it um, with uh, the um, pushers, um, crown, case back, and the folding clasp uh, made out of titanium. Uh, and. Uh, one note on the case back itself. This is probably one of the coolest case backs that I have ever seen. Um, so embossed on the case back is uh, the Top Gun logo. Um, it says um, United States Navy uh, Fighter Weapons School uh, right on it. So super, super cool. Um, and admittedly, um, one of the many reasons uh, why I really, really wanted this watch. All right, so um, let's take a look at the uh, dial. Um, so compared to the prior generation, um, which I'm gonna throw up a picture of that on the screen now, uh, gone is uh, the tri-date uh, window, which was uh, very controversial. Um, they brought back the uh, numeral nine on the dial, uh, and they moved the IWC uh, Schaffenhaus logo um, over to the right side of the dial, right next to the uh, date there. Um, and let me start up the chrono. You guys will notice that also the uh, minute um, and the hour for the chronograph are all in a single sub dial right up there. And then on the bottom sub dial is the time seconds uh, with that second hand highlighted in red um, to kind of um, differentiate it a little bit. Um, within the watch itself, uh, it's powered uh, by a uh, 89,000 um, series uh, movement uh, featuring um, 68 hours of power reserve and a flyback uh, chronograph. And I will now show how kind of the flyback function works. So, you know, with a regular chronograph, um, to reset it, you're going to have to um, stop, reset it back to zero, and then start it again. Uh, with the flyback, all you have to do is just press this and everything kind of goes back to zero and restarts itself right away. So that's how that will work. And then to reset everything back to zero and stop it, you'll simply just stop the chrono and reset it normally like you would. So let's touch upon um, the history of this watch and more so the history of um, the IWC Top Gun collection. Uh, so back in um, 2005, 
IWC, uh, in collaboration with um, the U.S. Navy, um, introduced um, the first Top Gun uh, watch. Um, and uh, that was done um, in honor of the uh, Top Gun school, uh, which has uh, all of you guys uh, know by now uh, was uh, depicted and made famous uh, by the uh, movie Top Gun um, in uh, 1986. So on the movie itself, uh, I am a huge fan of Top Gun. Um, I just absolutely love that movie. Uh, and uh, on the movie itself, um, the, uh, the, the character of Maverick, uh, played by Tom Cruise, um, he was actually wearing a Porsche design by Ofina watch. Um, and I believe that was, that was a chronograph. Um, so I'm gonna throw up a picture of that. Um, on the screen here, uh, so you guys can check that out. And uh, I'll post a link down below in the description um, to Chrono 24. O occasionally, you know, a few of them uh, do um, every now and then come up for sale. Um, and it is a pretty rare piece, uh, but it is a pretty cool uh, vintage watch uh, that I would personally also love to own myself uh, one, you know, one of these days um, coming up. So let's go, ahead, go back uh, even further um, before uh, 2005 uh, when um, IWC decided to do this um, very special uh, and unique collaboration uh, with the US, Na uh, US Navy uh, and introduced their Top Gun watches. Before then, about 10 years before then, uh, back in 1994, IWC introduced their first ceramic watch, uh, which was called um, the Pilot's Watch. Um, chronograph or the uh, Fleeger uh, chronograph um, and I think that reference was um, 3705 uh, and they made that uh, for a couple of years approximately from um, uh, 94 uh, all the way up to um, 96 um, and this watch is extremely extremely rare um, uh, I do have a buddy that has one and uh, I can say it's you know super super cool um, uh, it is uh, much more wear wearable uh, than the um, Chrono Top Gun uh, being at about, I think it's about a, a 39 um, millimeter, 40 millimeter watch. Uh, so it is um, uh, quite smaller uh, in size uh, and it is um, just one of those things that uh, is just very rare and um, just super, super nice. Uh, and uh, like I said, that one, you know, I kind of consider um, that one to be the forefather uh, of um, this entire uh, Top Gun collection and um, you know the uh, Top Gun Chronos definitely a direct descendant uh, of that original um, uh, 3705 uh, model. All right, now uh, let's uh, take a look at the Chrono Top Gun um, on the wrist. Um, first of all, a quick wrist check. Um, I do have on right now my uh, Rolex Submariner, as you can see here uh, with the uh, ceramic bezel. Off. Come here. Put this guy on. And one thing that I've noticed um, right away when I put on this watch, and kind of the same uh, with the big pilot, is that when I put on the folding clasp, um, there's a nice little strong click here. Um, so that's a, to me, that's a good sign of uh, quality. So here it is uh, on the wrist, um, as you can see here. So it, it is, you know, as you can tell, um, it is a, a bigger watch, uh, where it's uh, a little bit bigger um, than some of my other pieces here. Um, usually, you know, I would like to uh, stay between uh, 40 to 42 millimeters. Uh, my wrist size is uh, roughly um, six and three quarters of an inch. Um, but I think this watch, um, on my wrist at least, uh, wears uh, fairly well. Um, probably a, it is a little bit on the bigger side, um, but you know, as long as the lugs, um, in my opinion, as long as the lugs do not overhang, uh, which they don't, um, you know, I think it kind of fits fairly well.
All right, guys, so we're gonna wrap things up here. Um, oh, and by the way, this is my, uh, my little dog here. Um, his name is Sputnik. Sputnik, you wanna say hi? Say hi to everyone on YouTube. No? Okay. All right, so uh, we're gonna wrap things up. Um, as always, if you like this video, please uh, like and subscribe. If you have any questions uh, or comments, uh, please comment below. Um, and finally, we're gonna end things a little bit differently uh, on this video. Um, like I said, I am a huge fan of Top Gun. Uh, so let's look back at what is, in my opinion, the most epic, the most epic opening of all of movie history. So let's hit that right now. Here you go.